All right, y'all, you ever seen a full auto air rifle? Well, you're about to see one here today. This is the Hotson Blitz. It's a 30 caliber air rifle, shoots skirted 30 caliber pellets. We're gonna have some fun with this bad boy today. And we'll have a little fun and uh, talk a little bit as we go. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna start out on semi. Let's have some fun here. Epic. All right, full auto. What? <laughs> that is epic. Did you see those triple taps? <laughs> Look at the magazine. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? All right, guys, welcome back. Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Hope everybody's having a great day. I do want to thank our friends at Pyramid Air for sending this particular air gun out here for me today to show off for you guys. Uh, they are a great group of people and a big thanks to them for supporting our channel. Make sure you text IV8888 to the number below. You'll, you'll see the code. Uh, send it over and you'll get yourself a discount if you decide you want to pick up something like this. Uh, Pyramid Air has got all kind of awesome stuff. They've got tanks, compressors, fill lines, adapters, projectiles, all your accoutrements, if you will. Of course, plenty of guns. Uh, really great group of people. So check them out, Pyramid Air. And again, big thanks to them for sending this particular unit out so we can show it uh, to you here today. The projectiles that we're using are these 30 caliber Diablos. These are from the Czech Republic. Uh, they are from JSB Match Di Diablo. Diablo, exact. That's what we're shooting, is skirted pellets. And this is a really interesting departure for air rifles of this type. I mean, you've seen some of the rotary mags before that we've used in previous videos. Of course, some of the awesome FX air guns are set up with a rotary mag. Um, I believe Adamin and a few others that we've done in the past. And the rotary mag's a proven thing. It's uh, really cool. So the mags are relatively easy to load. This is a 30 caliber, okay? We're looking at, uh, let's see, that's one, two. That's 16 rounds in the mag. Uh, now there's a couple of different versions of the Blitz. They do have a 22 caliber version uh, that holds, I think, a few more rounds in the magazine, but there's something about that 30 cal that is just so freaking neat. So you got 16 rounds. Now that initial barrage of ammunition there, our, we were at 250 bar uh, on, the, on the fill, and now we're just slightly under. So we lost a little bit of air pressure. We're still in the green. We're gonna go ahead and keep shooting and see how many mags we can get uh, through this particular gun uh, with just one fill. The fill line uses a straight style adapter, kind of like this brass adapter right here. That's what we fill it with. So you do have to have the correct adapter. I recommend ordering a different coupling hose and leaving each coupling set up with all your individual adapters. That way you have a spare hose section to go with each one. That's just my suggestion, but of course you do what you want. Real easy to load. Um, this mag just intercepts with the little tit on the back of the barrel, kind of sits in there, and this window that pops out holds the magazine up and in place. All right, the bolt locks up and to the left. We're gonna go ahead and pull it down. Now the gun is loaded, it's ready to shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on semi. We're gonna put our safety off. Now we have a couple of, uh, we got some soda cans and things like that. Uh, we'll see, it looks like it's shooting right where I want. We'll see if we can take out some of our sodas. These are those little uh, miniature eight ounce soda cans. So they're not a full size soda. These are kind of small. So let's see if we can hit them with this 30 cal. I'm gonna start on the right and kind of work my way over and let's just see if I can connect with a few of the sodas. I've got some honeydews and a couple of cantaloupes right there. And let's see how good this 30 cal puts a wallop on them. And we might take a few burst uh, shots at those. All right, so semi. Yes, sir. Shoots right where it's looking. All right, I'm gonna switch to full auto. First, we're gonna hit a honeydew right there in the middle, and then I'll smack the cantaloupe to the left of it, okay? First the honeydew, uh, second one from the left. First the honeydew. Looks nice. Uh, we, might've, we might've blew our whole load, if you know what I mean. That's a nice rate of fire on that thing. All right, I'm just gonna check, but I think that was it. Oh, <laughs> we have one left. Okay, so to unload, pull the bolt up and to the left, lock it to a hard stop up and to the left. 
remove the magazine. We're still looking pretty good on air. I think we could probably get another magazine. Again, 16 rounds in the rotary magazine. Place it in there. Okay, now we'll try our, can our uh, cantaloupe with uh, full auto. Let's try to take out the rest of our sodas first and then we'll, we'll shoot the cantaloupe. Okay, let's give it a try. Ridiculously accurate. How about the 50 yard gong back there and then we'll hit the cantaloupe. Ridiculously accurate. Shoots exactly where it's looking. Okay, full auto versus a cantaloupe. Um, yeah, that's a cantaloupe. <clears throat> <laughs> it empties that mag in a hurry, doesn't it? Now, in one of the previous videos that we did, all right, we're down to just under 200 bar. So we used 50 bar out of this tank, out of this uh, onboard tank to shoot three magazines. So that's pretty good economy in terms of uh, the amount of air that this gun uses. It is a pre-charged pneumatic. Again, as I mentioned, you have to take your fill valve here to fill the gun up. The port is right here. You basically put, put, the, put the fill line adapter in here and top it off. We're probably not even gonna have to top it off in this video. The mags are pretty easy to load. Uh, you know, the, those 30 caliber pellets are not that expensive. Now, uh, in some previous videos, we were doing, uh, you know, some stuff with the 177s. Uh, the folks at Pyramid also sent us out one of the Legends broom handles. We got a Springfield Armory M1 carbine that was really cool we got to play with. But this one, being a 30 cal and a pre-charged pneumatic, you heard how hard it was hitting that plate back there at 50 yards. So this gun, you totally could take out and do some critter hunting if you wanted to. This gun would absolutely kill a coyote or a fox, no problem without any hesitation, it would totally do it. Of course, squirrels, rabbits, any type of small game, uh, this gun could definitely deliver the goods in that regard. So, she ain't running bad. There's our rotary magazine again, the bolt's locked to the rear. I'll go ahead and place it in there. Okay, and we'll continue shooting. This is all still on the same fill on the tank as before, so we're four mags in at this point. All right, safety off. We got a couple of more uh, small bits of fruit there. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll hit the other honeydew right there on the right, okay? And we're just gonna go ahead and do all 16 rounds, full auto barrage on the honeydew. What do you think? Do that? Okay, you ready, Chad? <laughs> Look at that group. This thing has absolutely zero freaking recoil. Like it did not kick at all. Like I just looked and the round just went exactly where my eyeballs were looking. There's almost no recoil. Now this gun does have a bit of heft to it. It's a little bit on the heavy side, but I think that equates to something that's very controllable. And even though this thing is a little long and uh, some would consider maybe a bit ungainly for hunting purposes, it actually balances quite well. You know, it's easy to shoot offhand, it's easy to carry around, it's really not that heavy. It just looks bulky, but it's actually fairly lightweight. It does have a carbon fiber tank, so that helps cut down on the weight considerably instead of all steel tank. But wow, I'm impressed. The air, we're at about, I'd say we're at about 175 bars. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep trying until the gun starts to sputter, but I'm trying to demonstrate how many mags you can get out of a fill. So, this is mag number five, and this time we've got one lonely cantaloupe left. All right, we're locked up into the rear. Go ahead and place our magazine in, in place here. Okay, I notice sometimes I have to give that bolt a, a little bit of a shove to get it to strip that first round off, but I think as long as that round's in there, we're good. All right, this time we're gonna hit the, uh, the cantaloupe, okay? And we're making pretty short work of all of our uh, fleshy items out here, okay? We ready? I'm gonna roll with it. You ready, Chad? <laughs> it's so fast. <laughs> That's it, that was 16 rounds in the blink of an eye. And uh, didn't sound like the gun was trying to choke or anything. Right now we're at about 150 bar, so it looks like 
we probably get through six or, or so mags, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and run one more mag. I'll do a little bit of semi and full auto shooting. Of course, it's just so fun to run the whole mag full auto. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? Because faster is just better, is it not? <laughs> okay, let's give this a try. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna switch to semi. I want to shoot that 50 yard gong again since we're on the lower end of the air setting here. We got 150 bar in the bottle and I want to see if that projectile will track and shoot the point of aim at full power out to 50 since we're towards the, you know, we're six mags in. So let's see if we've got any degradation in power. Uh, in theory, these rounds should hit exactly where the other ones hit if the power is consistent from the first mag to number six. So let's try that. I'm going to aim in the same spot. The rounds hit in exactly the same group. So that shows us that we've got good consistency from the first mag to number six. Now, honestly, this thing would probably shoot another couple of mags. So I'm, I'm gonna venture to say you could probably get seven to eight mags on a single fill uh, out of this particular gun. Now, each gun comes with three magazines. I did have some spares. So that's how I I've, I've was able to end up with uh, six magazines. But all right, we'll go ahead and switch it to full auto and I'm gonna ring that big plate down there at the bottom and shoot a group, but this thing is fantastic. Maybe we'll try to knock down some of our poppers. Why don't we do that on full auto? All right, here we go. <laughs> fantastic, wow. What a great performing gun. I'm very impressed with it. Very, very impressed. So that's been the Hudson Blitz. So this is definitely something outside of the norm that we don't typically show this kind of thing off in our videos. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, we love machine guns. We love black powder stuff. We love antiques. We love modern stuff. We love air rifles, you name it. If it launches projectiles, we want to shoot it. So thanks so much for tuning in today. Again, don't forget, go check out our friends at Pyramid Air and a big thank you to those folks for sending this out for us to be able to show off in a YouTube video here for you. Uh, thanks so much. We really appreciate all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at IraqVeteran8888. We're all over the place. We're posting tons of great deals on Twitter as well, so make sure you follow us for that. Thanks so much. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.